Ladies and gents, welcome to the UX, and this is why am I laughing? Because it's Russia and fire attrition. B- Russia ain't playing Soviet Union because I'm, I know where they are going with this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure fire attrition will have a lot of say about like communism and Soviet Union, especially with everything going on right now. I don't know how I missed this video, but yeah, this is from the unsubscribe clips channel. <laughs> Unscrewed podcast is a, gr- a great concept. I'm glad they, you know, Factory and Brenda Herrera, these type of people, you know, gathered together and making this type of podcast, right? And they bring out many different type of people. Somehow I find this podcast more interesting than anything else. Like, look, I love Factory and channel, obviously, but like, I'm learning a lot from this podcast. Japan thing like they drop a pamphlet before bombing it just blew my mind right and many other things like the videos I would never watch I'm getting exposed to basically right so this is very interesting so let's watch one remember we reflect with external subscribe so that way I know which I will react to more uh, check out the extended this link this season and let's do it I wanted to deep dive onto your um the the guy you just did a video about of the best anti-hero now i don't know about that he's one of them you said it in the fucking video i said he's one of the best (laughs) okay well it's a fucking dope ass story because i never heard of that how long did you you have to do something deep dive for that how do you get on those tangents where you're like this one individual how'd they get how'd they get tanks on the beach at d-day and then i googled it and i was like oh Oh shit! You text me at like two in the morning. You're like, Bro. I'm working on a video. Yeah, it was. I was fuck freaking out for like four hours. I was like, oh shit, the Germans didn't invent the Blitzkrieg. It was this guy. See, I didn't know that. Why'd you text me about that? Huh? I was curious. I don't have many people that are up that late that would understand. Uh, that's fair. I don't have a- that thing. Blew my mind because Blitzkrieg and Nazi Germany is the one thing I associate all this. Like that is their mo. And realizing, wait a minute, Germany didn't do this. Like, uh, some American guy did. Like, oh, what the fuck? And why am I saying some American guy? Because life factors and that he's one of the end. How many people are like that, right? I bet factors and channel will never run out of content, content because he will always find some badass guy from history. I guess when you have, like, freedom, liberty, right? Uh, democracy. People, you know, just flourish from that. All type of people. And obviously, that's what's going to happen here. Like what, many the, autistic what friends are, yeah. <laughs> so you're like, huh, so, so, so the Blitzkrieg <laughs> doesn't want to text Dude, the German awesome. guy what Blitzkrieg might be. Yeah, I'm not interested at all. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> you're asleep. No, I'm up till two in the morning. My shit. Oh, there you go. Fuck it. So, Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, this, a vote for Eastern Standard Time is a vote for Brandon Herrera. Oh God. A vote for <laughs> car bombs, Brandon. It's the most offensive one yet. <laughs> 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 so this gentleman <sighs> is named Percy Hobart. Sir, Sir, Major General Sir Percy Stanley Claghorn Hobart. So is it rank then knighthood? Rank then knighthood, yeah, because like knighthood is like part of your name, I think. He came out of retirement for this, correct? Like rank changes. So what? Where are they? Are they in Vegas? What is that building behind it? Are they in Vegas? This feels like Vegas, right? I don't know. Oh. Uh, right after he fought in World War One, got a military cross, came out of World War One, went to college, and then he's like volunteered to be in the tank corps, and nobody else wanted that job because it was they were like, oh, tanks are just for going from one trench to the other. We're not going to do anything else with them ever again. And the military is mostly ran by uh, like cavalry guys. That was when horses were right, huge in World right. War One. So they like didn't believe in tanks, and then um, so yeah, he like developed all these fucking tactics. Nobody wanted to listen to him. Uh, so they hated him, and then he ended up banging some other officer's wife. They divorced. He married her, so now they all really hate him. What a Chad. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> Miriam, I would like to stuff you while your husband's away on training. What say you? <laughs> hey, your husband's yes. on a horse. I got a tank. So we can run it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this reminds me uh, that uh, in Ukraine, right, uh, long ago, there was like a British cavalry charge where they got the wrong orders or information and they charged somewhere where there were nobody there. But what happened when they charged there and finally get there, nobody was there, but they suddenly became center, the target of like uh, uh, cannons, right? So it's like cavalry charge versus cannons. It was just a massacre, right? Uh, I forgot the name of that, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was in Ukraine. Uh, I'm pretty sure like t- even Top Gear mentioned that. I remember that part. Right. So, yeah, when you when, you know, the technology basically advances 
and you're this old style of people like oh i'm just like calvary is my thing this is what i'm going to do people really forget like why india was conquered by british let's just say right uh, what in- indians couldn't fight back no there was a massive technological differences right british had muskets and cannons indians didn't the end there you go british raj so many you know military wars and like uh, combat stories are there where like somebody still tried to do the old style thing and just got massacred that was a big thing in world war 1 right like people <laughs> wearing bright clothes when like you know all this is proper this and that yeah by the way people can see you from the distance now this is world war 1 this is like 20th century so people quickly changed that like oh fuck me we need to create like this dull beige and like camo style clothes <laughs> Have you yeah. seen him the size of his horse's cock? Have you seen the barrel? Anyways, I can't sit on it. Anyways, no, yeah, he, he got forced into retirement, and then uh, the Germans fucked up France in like six weeks, beat the shit out of the British using his tactic that he developed that they told him wasn't going to work, and then Churchill himself pulled him out of retirement. So the Blitzkrieg, back. he actually had that before it was. They started using that tactic. He was like, "Hey, this yeah, is no, what he, you need he, to do," and de- they didn't listen. He developed it and then convinced the British British military to let him do like a humongous training exercise. And all the umpires were officers, so they made it be like, "No, that didn't work. No, that's wrong. That didn't work." So like, shot down his Blitzkrieg, and then so all the officers literally, are basically like, "Yeah, you just don't. You don't want to be fast and violent." Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Those you two gotta, things are really, be, really terrible. Gentlemanly. Terrible. Yeah. Would you yeah. agree? Slow. Would you compare it to the more recent wargaming kind of strategy where it was a Marine general and he had to act like an insurgency to take on all the American forces? That's and overblown. He, I looked into it. Did, was Is it yeah. really? It's overblown. Because I, really? I was yeah. told that the first time he did phenomenal and the second time they wargamed it so that he was just... He tied his hands behind yeah, his back. Yeah, so I looked into it because that's exactly... So, so what's, like, the, what's the original story for those who don't know? Yeah. Uh, so the original yeah. story is that they brought this Marine general out of retirement to, like, do... Be the bad guy, lead forces for a war game, and, like, apparently he won, and then they, like, called the whole thing off as a fluke, and canned it and then this guy like wrote a scathing letter it was like this big dramatic piece so i was going to do a video on it and actually actually looking into it it didn't take long to kind of realize that like no a lot of that shit that guy did didn't make any sense oh, okay it was cool. like it was like well you're you're not going to cut you you can't intercept my communications because i'm not going to use any electronic devices i'm going to send a letter carrier on a motorcycle yeah. but also that letter carrier is going to get there in 3 fucking seconds Oh. Uh, so like he was like saying like I'm not using technology but he was treating it like it was technology so they're mm-hmm. like no that's that's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like you don't get to claim that you're doing the math for targeting data in in enough time to intercept a fucking missile traveling. Like, no, 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 wait. Love, While they're driving, they're doing hand and arm signals with the flag. Yeah. So it's <laughs> simultaneous. That awesome at that. I, I love how <laughs> <laughs> Ryan just stimming. They're like, I don't know what's going on. They're like, on. their coordinates are 1375 by North Chocolate Milk. I want some Skittles. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> air raid, Sir. air raid. Donald Trump has funny looking hair. Why orange man? I want sir more. the 7th the 7th tank division needs chicken nuggies <laughs> <laughs> and a milkshake <laughs> The flag just, man is not making eye contact with me. He never will. <laughs> I, just, I just love the fact that like I'm like I when you came to my house uh yeah. like I, I have a whiteboard full of you know fucking just you know you know schedule shit that I got to work out but like video ideas and things I have I was talking about doing a video on the Pepsi Navy thing and you're just like <laughs> fake and gay <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, finally we're getting to that point, uh, Pepsi thing. Yeah, but when it comes to uh, you know Hitler and Nazi, Nazi Germany, yeah, Hitler was people you know really don't think about it, but Hitler was kind of like the guy who takes things and insp- inspiration from every places, right? That's the fucked up thing about him. You know, he was kind of like a well-read and educated enough, not that good, but enough, which is frightening scenario. Obviously, like it was, right? He took a lot of things from a lot of people and he tried to implement it, what he thought would work basically. He took swastika from India, Hinduism. Thank you, by the way. Thank you very much. Now every time I put swastika because it's a holy symbol, people are like, oh, what, what are you Nazi? Oh, that's just great. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, he took swastika for whatever fucking reason. And then, you know, he took like Blitzkrieg and many things that he tried to implement it. I'm sick I, of I hearing about it. <laughs> I'm looking like, into it. Not that big of a deal. What was, what was the original story with the Pepsi? Uh, the Can fucking, I tell it? Because yeah, I, I, I never get to make the fucking video now. So uh, that's, that's really cool. 
<laughs> Sorry. We were, we, I was going to do a video, and it is overblown. Like, you're, you're right. You're right. It, like, people don't really know the nuance, but basically, essentially, uh, the, the Soviet Union, once they, you know, were collapsing, because they kind of did that because they're communists, they... Communism doesn't work? No. Nick what? Loves I mean, communism. it works against your will while you're hungry. He's, oh, he loves man. it. Don't get him started, I guess. They, they just wanted fucking soda. And so they, uh, just like every restaurant in the country, when they can't get Coca-Cola, they talk to Pepsi. And so uh, they actually made a deal with... Okay, seriously, what is that about? Like, seriously, somebody could comment now because I'm, I really want to know this. In America, what is the ratio between Coca-Cola and Pepsi? Is Coca-Cola the drink? And if there's no Coca-Cola, maybe people will drink Pepsi. Is that what's happening? What is the stake of Pepsi? I know Coca-Cola is the oldest one, the original one, and has the biggest share. But how far behind Pepsi is? I mean, come on. I mean, Pepsi is something like Mountain Dew and things, which is like so unique. It's own, it's its own thing. People who drink that is going to drink that. But I don't know. Some of their old warships and things like that, and they uh, ended up basically trading uh, warships, like battleships and things like that, for diets or just for, for soda. The Russians gave... What was it like sixth or seventh biggest navy? But I don't even know what the number was, but something like the Pepsi became that. Which I think like, okay, it's fun to say that, but it's not real. Pepsi is not a military. Pepsi is part of America. An American military would sell it. Shut the fuck up. You're not a military. You're not doing anything. Even if they own it, they'll have to sell it. Right? That type of... Same way like, uh, you know, I guess similar scenario I can think of like... I don't know, like Ukrainians had to... I don't know if this is like good example. Or Ukrainians had to give back the nuclear weapon because they didn't know how to like keep them, maintain them, and it was just like a thing you do because there was no other choice. But in, in Pepsi's case, like, Pepsi is civilian, it's commercial, it's part of America, under American military. At best, America would say, okay, fine, sell me this. At best, you can't keep that. I'm pretty sure that's the case, right? Battleships away? Yeah. Yes. And uh, Well, they were trash then. Yeah, they were trash. Like, they were, they were scrapped There was like full basically. military giveaways yeah. for well, so, soda. So for, for a technical period, uh, Pepsi had the seventh largest navy in the world. By like tonnage. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Which is fucking ridiculous. But it was also just fucking scrap old warships. <laughs> Can you imagine the owner of PepsiCo just like looking out? Didn't they had submarine, right? Did they have submarine? Yeah, they also, the, the Soviet Union sold them submarine. So it wasn't, just, it wasn't just some ships, it was submarines. Okay. Side of his window one day, he'd be like. Who wanted to get seven fucking submarines? <laughs> It was like it was. It was Kylo Ren from the new Star Wars. Like oh. I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just. It's just this guy just coming sitting down. He's just like, we're never gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are we gonna do with these? It's things? Russian steel. You can point your finger through it. <laughs> okay. So the funny part about that, it wasn't Coke that they wanted. They wanted Pepsi oh, because I fucking, I, I think it was Gorbachev came over to America and they were like giving him the tour of like, hey. Here's how not being a communist looks, and he like thought before it was all he did before he did Papa John's commercials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did Gorbachev do a Papa John's commercial? No, wait, Papa John wasn't around over then. Well, pizza, Hut, right? He did pizza. Hut. Are you feeding into my ego like this? It was right. I don't know what's happening. Pizza you don't. No. Pizza, pizza, Hut. Hut. pizza. There yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah, pizza Papa John's. You, you know that, right? Right? Yeah. He did. Gorbachev, do a Gorbachev pizza did a, pe a pizza yes, Hut commercial. That's what it was. Yeah. Big fucking liver spot. You know who else works? You know who else works? You know who else works with Pizza Hut? Thank you. It's DMI, Rich. Yeah, Gorbachev did pizza commercial in Russia, Soviet Union, basically. Where people were like, whoa, what the fuck? What is it doing? If you have like Iron Curtain for decades and you're like, everybody evil outside of this, and then you suddenly start doing that, yeah, there's going to be a lot of backlash. So if you think about it, Gorbachev has some balls, right? Like he was doing something outside of what you, I mean, writing was on the wall by that point. Like everything was pointing towards, oh, this, is, this shit is not working. Obviously, that was the case. But still doing that, like, okay, I'm surprised he wasn't disappeared or suddenly, like, assassinated or some shit, right? So I'm guessing he, even as a, like, a, he had some power, like, even in the background, like, nobody could touch him type of way. Because otherwise, like, that's the kind of shit where, like, enough people with influence would make you disappear, even if you're the president.
DMI works with Pizza Hut. What's DMI? Nothing. We can't get into it. Is that DEI? Is that the Dairy Dairy Management Incorporated? Oh, that's right. The cheese. I also talking about the cheese. I also found out they have a SWAT team. Where you get that cheese, Danny? The cave in Springfield, Missouri. All right. So anyway, um, so yeah, no, he came over and they're like, I don't know. He was trying different sodas. And I think I don't remember exactly how it was, but like Pepsi came out and they're like, here's our, here's our cola. We made it with water from the USSR. And he's like, this is fucking delicious. And then he got the only thing Gorbachev was ever wrong about. <laughs> Look, man, I'm going to say this and I don't know if people would have the same feeling or not. I don't drink sugar sodas anymore, obviously. You know, I mean, every can has like 40 grams of 30, 40 grams of sugar. Are you fucking high? So I, I drink like sugar free one, which has like, you know, chemical uh, sweeteners, I guess. I don't give a fuck. That's not that big of a deal. And one thing I realized, like black Pepsi can uh, tastes better than Coke. Uh, Coke Zero, which is the red one. And what is that? The silver can, which is like kind of lighter taste. Right, so there are two Coke that are like sugar free, but the black Pepsi taste a bit stronger and better to me at least. Right, so I don't know if people would have the same kind of feeling or not. So I can kind of see that, right? Like how Gorbachev, like, oh, Pepsi tastes better type of way. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Water? So he, uh, he's joke. He's yeah, about so like that's why Pepsi <laughs> became super popular. It's because they like literally just tricked him and no shit. getting that famous picture of him drinking. You're shitting me. Pepsi, no. And oh then, my God. Yeah, so that was the whole deal. And then originally they were trading, uh, the USSR was trading vodka in exchange for Pepsi, and then Pepsi was selling the Soviet vodka, and they were the, they had a licensing agreement. They were the only ones allowed to sell it in America. But then after the whole, like, fucking Cold War and human rights violations thing, it became yeah, less popular to drink shit. that. Little shit. So then they had to trade them battleships, you know. No it's shit. a good time. That's fucking insane, just trading battleships, which I would I definitely mean, fuck it, take. why not? And like, thus began the Russian oligarchy's norm of, do you want some military equipment for good shit that we could actually use? We will trade you 10 soda pops. And we've got this AK that's kind of a rifle, kind of long sniping, very, very quiet. It can't go through anything, but it sounds and looks neat. Nothing. You could be talking about three things right now. And right? that's why it's funny. <laughs> a vote for Russian propaganda. As a <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure in today's modern world, there must be a lot of treaties and like this and like Treaty of Versailles, Treaty of this. What is it called? Like, yeah, basically a million different type of treaties and rules and regulations would basically ban a commercial or any company to basically buy military grade equipments. You can buy tanks, but if it's like uh, de-weaponized, then I'm pretty sure you can buy tanks and things like that in America. But I'm pretty sure in today's world, Pepsi can just buy Turkish weapons or Russian weapons, something like that. I'm pretty sure like that's going to be problematic. But yeah, that's some insane shit, right? So Pepsi wasn't popular before the Soviet thing in the USA. Coca-Cola was like flying off. Is that it? That is interesting. But yeah, the whole fall of Soviet Union, how it happened, how like American companies like Pizza Hut and like Pepsi had a hand in it, is just like very interesting story, right? But yeah, alright, well, if you like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.